A snubber could be your friend. Today on Boating Basics, we're gonna talk about mooring snubbers and why they're beneficial on your boat. Now where we are docked today at Big Sound Marina in Perry Sound up here in gorgeous Georgian Bay, there's a lot of uh, traffic going by. There's a marina there and of course, coming and going boats uh, into the marina. They're not big, the big problem, but there's more or less a main channel that runs this way from the harbor area out to Bear, Perry Sound, the body of water. And a lot of times you have people who are inconsiderate and they, they throw off a hell of a wake. So the issue becomes that our lines are just snapping on the dock and on the cleats. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So it's not too, too bad right now, but you can see there is strain on the cleat. As a matter of fact, that cleat is actually moving just a little bit, the one on the dock. And what will happen eventually if it becomes too great, it'll put the strain on the cleats. Now I got it cleated off here as well as in the side. Um, we were here a number of years ago on our last boat, the big uh, 400, which was a, a lot heavier boat, and a vessel came out of the marina beside us, went by with a huge wake, and we bounced so much that it actually tore the cleat right out of the dock and the cleat hit the boat. Um, anyways, no substantial damage, but what I'm going to do now to take care of it, I'm going to alleviate that by putting on a couple of mooring snubbers and I'll show you what they look like. Now there's an example of a boat that's going to throw off a, you know, a substantial wake enough that it's going to bounce us around. Now that squeaking sound that you hear is just the lines rubbing up against the fiberglass. Some people will put uh, like choke protection behind their rag or whatnot, but still I want to take the strain off of the cleats. See now you can see the uh, lines with the snubbers on them have been installed and they are taking uh, quite a bit of the whip out of the line. Now that's just a regular standard snubber. They come in different sizes and as you can see the rope, your dock line I should say, wraps around it and as it stretches it makes it more pliable and allows it to expand and contract taking some of that whip out of it. Now this little guy here I bought many years ago for a 30 foot Sea Ray and I think the company stopped producing them but that is a great one for just close in uh, because you can see these snubbers. That snubber wouldn't reach from here to there and still allow me to, to cleat onto the line. So mooring snubbers, they are most beneficial especially in situations like this and even if you're tied off to a uh, companion boat or if you're um, uh, rafting off another boat. So mooring snubbers, hopefully you found that informative and interesting and one more thing to learn about in Boating Basics. Now don't forget to look at the entire playlist, link down in the description and to see all the other fascinating facts about boating that will hopefully make your boating life a little bit easier. That's it for now. Cheers. See you in the next one.